Hey guys, Rick with Rally Sport Direct here. Standing next to me is Marty from TurboSmart. Now we're here at the TurboSmart booth, SEMA 2016. And Marty, as I understand it, you guys have some amazing new products coming. I actually came by yesterday to check them out, but I wanted to give you guys a nice video and have uh, you know, have them be able to explain a little bit more about it because I'm sure there's some stuff that I, I, I didn't cover. So can you tell me more about the products? Absolutely, Rick. You know, um, again, we're very excited to be here at SEMA again this year. Um, we make a, a, a very concerted effort to come out with brand new, really revolutionary products that will help elevate this industry and help move it forward every year. Um, and we take great pride in that. This year, some of the products we brought out to launch are, we start out on the fuel side, we've redesigned our fuel pressure regulator. So we're already known for having a very, you know, well, you know, well balanced and a very high end type fuel pressure regulator. But there's always a little bit of room of improvement, for improvement, excuse me. And um, so this year we brought out a redesigned fuel pressure regulator that's more compact, um, a little bit more robust and durable for those long mileage type vehicles. And it's more compact, so it's gonna mount a little nicer and at a very competitive price point. So we're very excited about that. Also on the fuel side, we're launching our new fuel filters. So we've got a nice billet fuel filter with a stainless steel washable screen um, that complements that fuel regulator very nicely and, and ties everything together really well. After that, we've got our billet oil filters. So your turbo system, right, it, it, it plums right into that oiling system, but it's relying on the engine oil filtration to protect it. We've got a nice little stainless steel screen filter that goes right in the line to help protect that bearing cartridge and give it a little bit better longevity. In addition, if should any damage happen to the engine or what have you, it'll help keep that trash and the debris from getting into the turbo cartridge. Um, after that, something that has proven to be very popular here is our new turbo, <coughs> our new turbo oil pressure regulator. Mm -hmm. This product is designed to keep a constant 40 psi to that turbo cartridge. Um, today, a lot of people have some problems with you know their turbine smoking and various issues in the oil feed or extremely high oil pressure which then affects the, you know, the turbine and gets a little oil in there. Right. Um, this is designed to keep that a very steady and constant oil at 40 psi yeah. regardless of RPM, temperature, oil weight, etc. Um, and that has proven to be a big hit here and we're very happy to see that. Yeah. Uh, it, it's something that we've been working on for a very long time. Nobody's done it. And so, you know, you're kind of really reaching here, seeing if the market would accept something like that. And we're very happy to see the response has been tremendous on that. Uh, on our model specific blow off valves, um, we're known for EcoBoost. Yeah. And we've been, we've done very well in that market. We have a product for every EcoBoost platform there is. Right. And the new Focus RS is no exception to that. Right. So we're showing off our new Focus RS blow off valve kit and wastegate actuator. Um, the market has taken that up tremendously. Um, I have this little saying, like, I don't think there's a Focus RS in North America that doesn't have our products on it right. because it has gone so well. I, I was shocked that, you know, there was that many of them on the road already. Right. Um, in addition, our, um, we, we've had an Evo valve for a very long time. And as vehicles progress and the throttle mapping strategies change, sometimes it gets a little tricky to have a blow off valve that'll work exactly right for that application. Exactly. Evo 10 is no exception. We've revamped our Evo 10 valve and we have our new smart port technology adapted to that valve. Mm -hmm. um, that type of design was pioneered on the new WRX mm -hmm. and now we've carried it over into the Evo 10 with great success. Yep. So this, this combination of an extremely lightweight piston, a lightweight spring, um, results in a very fast reacting valve to keep that compressor surge at bay. In addition, we know with any type of twin port or vent atmosphere blow off valve, that getting debris into the piston can be a problem over time, requiring maintenance, yeah. oiling. This smart port configuration has what we call a check valve. You called it a flapper, but it's more yeah. of like a check valve on the yeah. trumpet side, mm -hmm. which actually helps to keep that debris from getting to the piston. Mm -hmm. And when the valve does vent, it's almost self-cleaning. It kind of blows it away. Yep. So when you combine that with the hard anodized Teflon coated alloy piston, which is literally bulletproof, and the fact that the debris doesn't get to it, you've got a virtually a maintenance free valve that is very fast reacting and will live for a very long time. Yeah. So we're very, very happy to port that over to the Evo 10. Mm -hmm. And you'll see that kind of coming across in other applications as time goes on as well. Yeah. For the hardcore racing guys, for the guys that are making big power, 
um, the, the, the leading edge of competition. Um, we have released the highest flowing blow off valve in the world. It's ridiculous. Which is our new power <laughs> port. It's a 60 millimeter valve. It, it, when you, when you compare it to anything else there on the market, there's nothing that even comes close. Right. And in this day and age, especially in competition drag racing, um, time attack racing, and some of these disciplines where they're running big power, um, you know, the, the turbos have gotten very good. They're very durable. Um, the surge isn't quite so much of an issue because there's a very, uh, these are short runs, right? Quarter mile, eighth mile, or a single lap for yeah. the best time. Um, so really getting the pressure out of there has become more of a safety issue. These guys are running very large throttle bodies. They're all fly-by-wire, right. right? So there's no mechanical connection there. And when you're running big boost and you've got a big throttle blade with a lot of surface area, there are times when it can be very difficult for that thing to close fast enough yeah. to actually get the vehicle to slow down and or stop. In addition, uh, the, throttle body, the throttle bodies and the throttle blades typically made of brass mm -hmm. or some other soft material that seals and works out really nice. They also can bend and fold. Again, this is in high boost racing applications, but if that happens, it can result in a throttle hang. And if the throttle doesn't shut all the way, the motor doesn't come down, and it can become a, a serious safety issue. Right. So especially in the top level of, levels of drag racing, um, we've, we've been sensitive to this, and we've been working with these teams to, to address this issue yeah. and provide a true solution to them. The other side of this is, this valve also has twin chambers, mm -hmm. so it can operate in a push-pull type function. Okay, awesome, yeah. So this allows the tuners and the creative you know, guys out there looking for ways to get an edge up on their competition to operate the valve in different ways. A perfect example would be um, in staging a drag car and you've got a big single turbo and it's hard to get it spun up. Right. Well, if you apply pressure to the underside of this valve, we can open up that intake and help that turbo speed get up quickly. Quicker, yeah. And when they let the clutch out or let go of the trans brake button, Closes. slam the yeah. valve shut, I've got all my boost and I'm ready to go. In addition, let's say we've got a real problem and, and the boost is higher than we want right. or there's a fuel system problem, what have you. It will allow you to actually energize that valve and open it as a safety, yeah. dumping the boost and dumping the power should you get beyond those parameters you programmed in. Again, we listen to the racers, we listen to the public, we listen to our partners like Rally Sport Direct, and, and we work very hard to deliver a product that you guys not only want, yeah. but will truly provide a value and a benefit to the consumer that's using it. No, that's awesome. I mean, I, I've always said in all my videos, you know, every single time, like, these, you know, products are basically overbuilt, you know, and, and I think, I mean, we see that time and time again with every single one of your products, and, but it just, I think what's so interesting is the fact that you guys are so innovative as well. You know, I swear, like, every few months, every, you know, year, you guys are coming out with tons of new products, and you have something that's already in my opinion, one of the best on the market. And you're like, how can we make it better? How can we make it smaller? How can we make it more durable? So, I mean, to me, it's just a, a testament to, you know, not only you guys as a company, but just like the, you know, the enthusiast mentality, right? And so it's it's kind of, I think it's true to your core. So I, I'm super impressed with it. But anyway, thanks Thank for you. your time, Marty. Really appreciate it. Thank you, Rick. Yeah. I appreciate it as always. Absolutely. Thanks for watching, guys. And as always, we'll see you next time.